I think cooks are turning the corner when it comes to MSG. I've been seeing it used a lot more in recipes. And I want to kind of dispel the myths and rumors about MSG. It's been long feared in recipes, but it actually is a flavor enhancer. So it's a tool you can use in some special dishes to make it taste that much better. Thought I would do a little bit of comparison. I'm just going to whip up some scrambled eggs. Super simple. Get some butter in this pan real quick. Get that melted. So in this one, this is just going to be my salted version. I mean, what could be simpler than a little batch of scrambled eggs? If you want to test a seasoning and ingredient, go ahead and add it to some eggs. It's really low effort, and you can really taste the flavor profile of whatever you're testing. So it's still funny to say it, because anytime I say MSG, you know, it, in our society, it seems like a dirty word. It seems like something that like, oh, you put MSG in that. But guess what? So much of the food you're consuming either naturally has MSG or has it in it because, you know, you're eating a snack or something else. So I'm sure most people are consuming MSG pretty regularly, just not as an additive for their food. But you can use it to make things taste so much better. Salt is so common in all of our cooking. It's like the one main go-to for anything you make. But if you called it sodium chloride, I think because of that chemical sounding word, I think it could, could make people think like, oh, what is that? But it's just as common. It's a naturally incurring ingredient. It's not a chemical. Well, I guess all things are chemicals when it comes down to it. But it's not synthetic or artificial. It is just a flavor booster. Now, just like with a lot of different ingredients in the kitchen, some people might have a sensitivity to MSG. But for the vast, vast majority of people, you can consume MSG safely. So since it is safe, why not try it? Make a recipe extra special, extra flavorful. Actually nice to make eggs over lower heat. They stay fluffier, creamier. Those are almost done. I'm gonna let those sit for a minute while I work on batch two, which is gonna have our main ingredient, our secret ingredient in there. So I'm gonna add some salt to this one. Let me get this batch out of here. We can get batch number two. Can add a little bit more butter and I gotta go quick so this doesn't burn too much. And a little goes a long way here. You really don't need much at all. You can use MSG as a replacement for salt, but it does kind of have a different flavor profile. So I usually use it in combination with salt. So you can go a little lighter on the salt and maybe add a little MSG. Now MSG is basically just waking up and opening up your taste buds and making things just taste a little bit more, you know, people say umami, just gives you a more savory flavor. Something you can try, just sprinkle a little bit in your hand, you know, lick your finger, dip it in and taste it. And then you can see exactly what it tastes like on its own and what it's doing, what kind of sensation you get. When you do that, it might taste a little overwhelming, but in a dish like this, it's just a little bit spread throughout. So you're just getting a little bit of that flavor enhancement, a little bit of that flavor boost. Batch one, batch two. In the normal grocery store, you'll probably see this brand. This is just MSG by itself. In international markets, you might see bags of MSG. You can also get it online. So MSG is pretty accessible in most stores. Let's go with our A eggs. These are the ones with just a little bit of salt in there. Delightful, fluffy, creamy eggs. Funny, egg yolks themselves have a little bit of MSG in it. So when I say MSG is naturally occurring in some foods, in egg yolks, there's some MSG already. That's why eggs are so like rich and creamy, kind of has a savory flavor to them. It's because a little bit of MSG is waking up those taste buds. Now here's our B eggs, the ones with MSG in them. instantly, like a flavor punch. It's incredible the difference. In batch A, I'm just tasting the salt really as the flavor, while these I'm tasting egg as the flavor. It's a secret ingredient because you're not actually tasting the MSG, you're tasting the food itself. It just is a bomb of flavor. So this really does wake up your taste buds and enhance the flavor of any dish. If you're cooking for family and friends, it's not gonna be something they particularly notice. They're just gonna notice that it tastes really good. So there are some instructions on here, you know, just kind of general guidelines of how to use this. You only need to use a little bit. So this is add half a teaspoon per pound of meat. So that's a good rule of thumb. You can even go a little lighter. It'll still work even if you're using a little less of it. Use a half teaspoon for each four to six servings of soup, stews, casserole, sauces. Anything that you want really umami, savory flavor in, just use a little bit of MSG to really waken up that flavor. We're gonna do a little test. Ooh. It's a lot, don't need that much, just a little bit. We'll go a long way. 
It's so interesting. It doesn't taste salty. It just tastes, this is the weirdest way to explain this, but it just tastes like flavor. It just tastes like, mmm, there's taste, there's flavor. <laughs> it kind of makes whatever is in your mouth, like you be able to taste that, which is I think a weird thing to say, but try it, try it for yourself. Don't let the bad reputation steer you away from an ingredient that could be a wonderful addition to your recipes.